Number 1. Asteroid An asteroid the size of Rome's Colosseum, measuring between 300 and 650 feet, has been discovered by an international team of European astronomers using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. They used data from the Mirai Instruments calibration, in which the researchers discovered an interloping asteroid by chance. The object is likely Webb's tiniest to yet, and it could be an example of an object measuring less than one kilometer in length within the main asteroid belt, which lies between Mars and Jupiter. More observations are required to better characterize the nature and features of this item. Number 2. AU Mike The dusty debris disk around AU Mike, a red dwarf star 32 light years away in the southern constellation Microscopium, is depicted in these two photos. AU Mike was studied using Webb's near infrared camera. The team was able to analyze the region relatively close to the star, thanks to NearCam's coronagraph, which obscured the bright light of the primary star. The location of the masked out star is indicated by a white graphical depiction in the center of each photograph. A dashed circle represents the area blocked by the coronagraph. Webb supplied photos at 356 and 444 microns. The researchers discovered that the disk was brighter at shorter or bluer wavelengths, indicating that it includes a lot of tiny dust that is more efficient at scattering shorter wavelengths of light. Number 3. Lensed Galaxies in VV191 In fresh near-infrared data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, researchers discovered a previously unknown lensed galaxy for the first time. Look at the white elliptical galaxy on the left. At 10 o'clock, a tiny red arc appears in the inset. Webb's image distorts the look of an extremely distant galaxy. The gravity of the elliptical foreground galaxy bends its light. Its appearance is also replicated. At 4 o'clock, the extended red arc reappears as a dot. These images of the lensed galaxy are so faint and red that Hubble missed them, yet they are apparent in Webb's near-infrared image. Simulations of gravitationally lensed galaxies like this one aid researchers in determining how much mass is in individual stars as well as how much dark matter is in the galaxy's center. Number 4. Titan Titan Images Acquired by the James Webb Space Telescope's Anier Cam Instrument on November 4, 2022. Image taken with the F212N filter, a 2.12 micron filter sensitive to Titan's lower atmosphere. In the northern hemisphere, the bright patches are clouds, right? A color composite image created with NER cam filters, blue F140M, green F150W, red F200W, and brightness F210M. Several major surface features are labeled, Kraken Mare is a methane sea, Belay is made up of dark colored sand dunes, and Adiri is a brilliant albedo feature. Number 5. Stefan's Quintet. The mid-infrared instrument, with its excellent mid-infrared vision, reveals previously unseen characteristics of Stefan's Quintet, a visual grouping of five galaxies. Miri peered through dust to show massive shock waves and tidal tails, as well as gas and stars torn from the galaxy's outer regions by interactions. It also revealed previously unknown locations of star formation. Miri's new findings shed light on how galactic interactions may have influenced galaxy evolution in the early cosmos. This image has one extra Mirai filter than the number 6, Dimorphos Ejecta. About four hours after NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART, made impact, this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera instrument shows Dimorphos, the asteroid moonlet in Didymos's double asteroid system. The image shows a tight, compact core and plumes of material that seem like wisps streaming away from the center of where the collision occurred. Webb's distinctive eight diffraction spikes are a byproduct of the telescope's structure. When these views are paired with data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, scientists will be able to learn more about the nature of Dimorphos's surface, how much material was ejected by the collision. Number 7. Cosmic Cliffs On a moonlit evening, what appears to be rocky mountains is actually the border of the Carina Nebula's adjacent young star-forming area, NGC 3324. This image, 
captured in infrared light by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, exposes previously occluded areas of star birth. The cosmic cliffs are the boundary of a massive gaseous cavity within NGC 3324, approximately 7,600 light-years distant. The intense UV radiation and stellar winds from extremely large, hot, young stars located in the core of the bubble, above the area visible in this image, have carved the cavernous area from the nebula. These stars' high-energy radiation is sculpting the nebula's wall by progressively chipping it away. Number 8. NGC 7496 Webb's mid-infrared instrument took this image of the nearby galaxy NGC 7496, which includes compass arrows, a size bar, and a color key for reference. The north and east compass arrows indicate the image's orientation in the sky. It's worth noting that the relationship between north and east in the sky is reversed when compared to direction arrows on a map of the ground. A scale bar labeled 3,500 light years, 30 arc seconds is located in the lower right. The scaling bar's length is around one-fifth the image's whole width. A color key is provided below the image, indicating which MIRI filters were used to construct the image and which visible light color is allocated to each filter. Number 9. Pandora's Cluster Astronomers estimate that this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope represents 50,000 sources of near-infrared light. Their light has traveled varied distances to reach the telescope's detectors, resulting in a single image that represents the immensity of space. To the right of the image center, a foreground star in our own galaxy shows Webb's unique diffraction spikes. The galaxies of Pandora's Cluster, a conglomeration of already massive clusters of galaxies merging to form a megacluster, are bright white objects surrounded by a hazy glow. The concentration of mass is so great that gravity warps the fabric of space-time, creating an effect that astronomers are particularly interested in, a natural super-magnifying glass called a gravitational lens that they can use to see very distant sources of light beyond the cluster that would otherwise be undetectable, even to Webb. These lensed sources appear red in the photograph and are frequently warped by the gravitational lens as elongated arcs. Many of them are early universe galaxies that have been magnified and stretched out for scientists to study. Other red sources in the image have yet to be confirmed using Webb's near-infrared spectrograph instrument to establish their true nature. Number 10, Centaur, 10-1999, Chariclo. Based on our present knowledge, this image depicts the centaur Chariclo and its rings. Chariclo is the biggest known centaur population, located more than 2 billion miles away between Saturn and Uranus's orbits. Chariclo is only 160 miles, 250 kilometers across, approximately 1 50th the size of Earth, and its rings circle at a distance of around 250 miles, 400 kilometers from the body's core. This illustration is based on Chariclo's earlier observations. Webb did not photograph Chariclo directly, but he did observe an occultation event in which Chariclo's rings crossed in front of a background star, 